Hi, my name is Courtney Snyder, and I help Pastor Andy here on the Warriors of Faith page. You may have seen me on some of her videos. And I just wanted to share with you today some about my testimony and what the Lord has brought me through and done in my life. Um, I have been married to my husband, Bruce, for 16 years now, and we have four beautiful children. Um, we had four children in um, less than five years, so we had them really close together. My youngest two are twins. My testimony today is about um, the time after the twins were born. That was probably the hardest time of my life. I had a really rough childhood growing up, and um, I'll share that at another time, but uh, the Lord just reminded me today that He wanted me to share with you guys about um, when He became, it was really the time that He became real to me. Um, when the twins were born, right after that, we found out that my husband Bruce had narcolepsy, and um, he actually fell asleep holding one of the twins, and um, we were going through some testing. He had already been diagnosed with sleep apnea, and I knew something else was, was going on. I knew that he was just falling asleep way too easy. And so um, we had some more testing done, and they diagnosed him with narcolepsy. And also around the same time we got that diagnosis, um, Elijah, one of my twins, he was diagnosed with colic too. So, it, and my others were, I had a two-year-old and a four-year-old and then twin newborns. And so it was a crazy, and a husband with narcolepsy. And it was a crazy, hectic time in our lives. The, the, we had been serving the Lord faithfully and, you know, volunteering at church, really grown closer to the Lord in those four years before. And so I, I came to a point in life where I was just like, where are you, God? Like, what is going on? I mean, I remember crying out to the Lord, telling God how unfair it was, that it was not fair that I had to not be, I couldn't take care of everybody. I couldn't meet everybody's needs. And as a mom, I had always been really good at meeting everybody's needs. If there was a cry, I knew what the cry was. And I was really good at figuring it out. I loved being a mom. And I loved meeting, meeting needs. That's just kind of my personality. So when it came to the point to where I couldn't meet everyone's needs, it made me crazy. And I spent many nights, many days just bawling my eyes out, asking the Lord, what is this? Why are you doing this to me? And praying for the Lord to heal my husband because I kept telling him, like, I have four babies to take care of and I can't do this all alone. I know that you didn't want me to do this all alone. My husband was working crazy hours. He worked for the airport at that point. And so they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And so his schedule was crazy also. So I just, I didn't really have a whole lot of support and I knew that God was there, but, and I felt the Lord there. And he kept telling me, he gave me the verse and said, be still and know that I'm God. And so in those times, I would just have to still myself. It was really about stealing that voice inside of me that was saying, you can't do this, you'll never succeed, you'll always be miserable, <laughs> and you'll never be able to meet all these children's needs. And um, I just had to learn to still that voice inside of me and to trust Him, be still and know that He was God. And that this was no surprise to Him, and that He saw this coming before we did, and that He was going to heal Bruce. So for a while there, I just had to continue in faith. Uh, we just kept praying for the Lord to heal Bruce. We knew God had healing for Bruce. We knew that God had promised way too much to us and that him having narcolepsy was not a part of that plan and it was just gonna be a part of his story. And so um, we just continued to pray and seek the Lord and he continued to go down every time they had prayer for healing at church. He would go down to the altar again and ask for prayer for healing. Everybody at church knew that Bruce had narcolepsy and that we were really believing for the Lord to heal him. And I don't remember exactly how old the twins were, but they were still babies. They were under two. And he got diagnosed when they were maybe three or four months. But um, the Lord healed him. We went back. We knew things seemed like they were better. And they had scheduled, um, every so often they would schedule a sleep study for him just to make sure that the levels on his machine were correct. He was wearing a CPAP machine to sleep at night. And so he was going in for a, a new, new test and we knew that it was gonna at least be reduced, the amount that he was gonna have to wear. And it came back and um, 
the doctor was like, you know, this test can't be right because it had jumped. I mean, he was on the maximum dose, like the maximum amount of oxygen or however they do that, um, that you can have a night. And so it went from the maximum to he said he needed nothing. There was nothing that he needed. He did the test twice. He made him go back in for a sleep study a second time because he was just baffled. He was not a Christian. And we told him that the Lord had healed him. But, you know, he, he was like, no, well, you know, it could have been a glitch. And it just, it never, it doesn't go from, from all to zero. And we just want to be sure. And, and I knew, I knew the Lord had healed him at that point. And it came back the second time and he was completely healed. He doesn't even have, um, he had went from sleep apnea to narcolepsy. And he doesn't even have, clinically doesn't have sleep apnea now. So, um. It was just amazing what the Lord did in our lives. It definitely strengthened our faith. It showed us how to depend on the Lord. It was hard on Bruce, too, because he wanted to be there for me. He was the reason that we had four kids. I always loved kids, but I am a control freak, and I, I'm a planner is a better word for it, probably a planner. I, I did. Like I said, I had a crazy childhood, and so my thing was if I have it all planned out if everything is is scheduled like it should be if we have my plan was to have one kid and then five years later have another kid and then five years later have another one and we wouldn't have more than three because I always felt like I was going to have twins and so I said if we have more than three then that'll be five and I just don't know how I can manage five I had it all planned out and nothing went as planned nothing went as planned the Lord totally intervened and, and switched my plan around and once again I did have the twins and the Lord stepped in and you know had colic and told me how to trust him more and so um, I just I just want to say to any moms out there who feel like they can't handle it to any single moms God bless you I pray for single moms a lot because even though I didn't fully know what that was like I did have a lot at one time on my plate and I do not know how you do it. And I pray that you lean into the Lord. Let Him strengthen you. Be still and know that He is God. And that He will provide whatever you need, whatever your kids need. And one of my biggest prayers during that time was, Lord, there are so many needs and I know that I can't meet them all. And I need you to make up the spaces that I can't. I can't be everything to everybody. And I need you to be whatever they need. Whatever I'm missing. I had the the two and four year old and I always felt guilty because I felt like they needed more of me than I had to give at the moment and I was just worried that emotionally I wasn't meeting everybody's needs and and God did that my children are fine they're not damaged they're not they're not needy you know he was totally there and met them and strengthened even their faith my oldest you know she has all kinds of faith stories from that time she was just four but I mean she still prayed to the Lord and asked for things and God will do it he will move on your behalf and he will give you the strength to do what you need to do and he will meet fill in the gaps he will fill in the gaps wherever you are lacking so be encouraged today <laughs>